Hi, this is Neera Jaiswal and welcome to the episode. In this episode, you are going to download a plugin which will add the SQLite support to a Unity project. So let's get started. Let's go ahead uh, to Google Chrome or any browser which you want and download a plugin from this particular URL. This is SQLite unit for Unity 3D. It's a plugin from Code Coding. It's available on GitHub. Now you go there. And you can see that the plugin page comes up. Here, there are two options. The first is you can just download the libraries files or you can also download the complete uh, this uh, repository with the example project. So we will just go ahead and download the full project uh, repository itself because we need this example project and we are uh, it has got lot of uh, useful stuffs which we are going to use in our particular project. So let's go ahead and download it. So you can download it. it will start downloading I already have it downloaded in my uh, computer so I'll just stop it here and I'll just open that particular folder so I'll go to my downloads folder I just search for the SQLite This one is the one which I downloaded just now. In this, what you have to do is rename some of the stuffs. Here, just rename this to SQLite. And then, rename this folder to libs. I'll show you why. Now, leave it like that. And now go ahead and create a Unity project. You click on Unity icon. Create a new project. I'll just name it as hello SQL light. It will be a 2D project. I'll just disable uni Unity Analytics and I'm going to choose the I'm just going to choose this one, this folder and just save it here. Now the project is going to be created inside this particular folder. So let's go ahead and create the project. Now go to that particular folder. You'll see that project has been created and it will open up in Vinity. We need to make some changes here. The sample scene has been saved in the scenes folder here. But for simplicity and to identify our code base, I'll just create another folder called app. This is all this app, this particular folder will contain all the codes which we are going to create. This is a practice which I follow. You can also follow so that you can organize your code very easily and drag the scenes folder here. Now all your codes are going to be inside this particular folder. Next go to the your uh, file explorer in window and uh, finder here in uh, Mac and then copy this particular SQLite folder and in fact before that what you need to do is create a plugins folder in the assets folder inside the assets folder so i'll just name it as plugins 
I'll just add an S. You can just follow this best practice. It will be very much easy to organize your code in future. So now copy this particular folder which you had downloaded from the in from the repository which you have downloaded and just copy this SQLite folder which you have renamed and then place it inside the plugins folder. Once this is done, what you can do is you can just copy this or just uh, and paste it here because while doing any operations it will look for the database in this particular folder structure so that's why you just place it here and then now our structure is ready we'll just go back to unity so that it can import uh, all the assets So we can see that our code structure is very much ready. You can delete this folder as we already pulled it uh, to the root of the assets folder here. Now everything looks okay. We'll try to run once uh, the sample scene. Nothing will happen as uh, this scene doesn't contain anything. Now close it. Go to the plugins folder and just check that you are able to run this particular sample scene. That's it. So the scene is running. So for now, we'll just close it in this for a particular uh, episode. We'll use this in the future episodes. Till then, keep rocking and happy coding.